to lead, convene, and mobilize the business community to drive regional economic growth. A globally competitive upstate economy where businesses succeed and people prosper. Advocate. Connect. Advance. Develop. Include. Let's do something that matters today. When I look back on 2016, it was an exciting year and certainly one of transition. But I couldn't be more proud of the steps our chamber has taken. We started every board meeting with the phrase, let's do something that matters today. I'm impressed with Greenville because of the spirit of its people. Greenville citizens are aware and very pleased with the progress that it's made from its textile past to its knowledge-based economy today. But the business leaders and the community overall, they want to do more. There's so much more that we can do here in Greenville and the community is really excited about that. I have really been impressed with Carlos's fearless leadership. Just like he went into the community to ask all of the questions on his listening tour, he also did the same thing with his staff. And the reason he did that was to make sure that they have the tools and resources to deliver value to our investors. At the Chamber, we want to advocate for policies and legislation that will grow our business community and our economy, um, but we also want to oppose those policies that may stifle business growth. By leading the Upstate Chamber Coalition, which consists of 11 local chambers, the Greenville Chamber has created a unified voice, a voice that can impact and influence statewide decisions on topics such as infrastructure, education, and workforce development. If you look at our uh, initiative with the medical school, uh, that we had, we had a good financial backing, we had a health system, we had facilities, where we ran into trouble was political help. And it was the Chamber of Commerce of Greenville that, that stepped up and helped us with uh, the, the political uh, support and energy that, that, was, that provided the turning point for the medical school to actually occur. We want to connect businesses to the people, programs, and resources that are going to help them grow their businesses and achieve their goals. Your next big deal, your best employee, your next client, or your business partner could be one handshake away through your connections at the Greenville Chamber. Much as our job at the Bonds Corps St. Francis Health System is to connect patients with medical professionals, the Chamber of Commerce is also in the connection business. It's connecting the right people at the right time to solve complex issues. They do an excellent job of connecting businesses, connecting leaders, connecting whoever needs to be involved around key situations in order to make Greenville the best it can possibly be. Some of the connections I made earliest on at the Chamber now are the people I partner with daily, whether they be clients, uh, employees, fellow bankers, just people in the community through organizations that I volunteer with. That's been the neat thing for me is to see those connections evolve over 10, 12 years now and take on lives of their own that I didn't anticipate when I first met those folks. And the great thing is I'm still meeting new people through the chamber and I'm excited to see what happens 10 or 12 years from now with those folks. We advance our region by connecting with area partners to attract and retain area talent and also by working to expand our entrepreneurial ecosystem. We are actually incredibly impressed with the next initiative. It's really created kind of a culture of entrepreneurial ecosystem, uh, starting with people who want to take a risk and want to be out there creating their own business. And actually, that's how ScanSource got started about 25 years ago. A handful of people decided to start a distribution company here in Greenville, and now we're up to 700 people in Greenville and about 2,500 people worldwide. And so we absolutely support uh, the next program and everything the Chamber's doing there. What's been so cool about moving to Greenville is we've been able to tell a lot of stories about downtown businesses and businesses everywhere expanding and growing. And I've had the opportunity to tour some of those businesses. What the Chamber does is they're a key ingredient to those businesses' success. And what we do is hopefully tell those stories every day, shine light on many of those businesses who are right here in town hiring local employees. Accelerate is a major initiative for us. While it was launched in 2009, the Chamber has put strategic efforts around Accelerate for 2017. We're excited about the four major initiatives aligned with Accelerate. 
One of those being to grow new businesses in Greenville. The second one is around uh, looking at our workforce and ensuring that our businesses in our communities have the talent and the workforce needed going forward. The third one is around minority-owned businesses. This has been a great program for the Chamber and will continue to be in a lot of efforts put into that area. And the fourth one is around transformative projects. The Chamber has a history of launching transformative projects. We feel that's a niche for the Chamber and we are committed to continuing to have that be a strategy for the Chamber going forward. If you look back at, at 2010 when we were in the upstate struggling to get uh, traction around the medical school, I think one of the turning points that we had is when the Greenville Chamber made it one of its featured projects. The way you transform healthcare is not just to have an uh, excellent uh, healthcare system, to actually improve the socioeconomic status of the community in which the Academic Health Center uh, resides. And so per capita income, uh, education status, all of these are things that are going to actually transform health for the community and actually make Greenville a healthier place to be. We want to develop our region's next generation of business leaders and stakeholders and invite them to participate in one of our many leadership development programs. We utilize these programs to help develop our new leaders, uh, new individuals coming into the organization, and help develop our rising stars by connecting them through the chamber with other industries. Those opportunities are, are very valuable to us and help us to continue to create talent uh, internally and attract talent externally uh, that will help us continue to execute our mission for decades to come. As we've grown as a company, Scantorce has found that the marketplace has grown much more competitive for jobs. A lot of people want to be here in Greenville. A lot of companies want to be here in Greenville. And we really appreciate the Chamber's um, opportunities they're giving us to prepare our workforce for the 21st century. We want to include everyone in our efforts to improve our economy and grow our region. One of the things that BMW has started now going on our sixth year is that we have a BMW Spire Diversity event. And in that event, and this is where Greenville Chamber has been a wonderful advocate for us in that they bring in these diverse suppliers that they are working through their minority business uh, program to come and to visit our suppliers. The program has grown over the years and it's really given us some great opportunities. We currently um, have a diverse supplier that's doing injection molded parts for our trunk. You know, we have a diverse supplier who's doing network cabling throughout our uh, facilities. This is important to BMW to have these diverse suppliers. One of the programs that we have at Cenex is F to F, female, female, friend to friend. That's one of the best ways for us to work in getting more women into the technology sector. One of the things I like is that coincides with some of the things that the Chamber is doing that we can partner on and even grow that more. As a small business owner, you have a checklist and a to-do list a mile long. Customers, employees, inventory management, and so many other things. And it's so reassuring to know that the Greenville Chamber is there looking at the bigger picture, taking care of the things that I always can't take care of. We have so much on the horizon that's really exciting at the Greenville Chamber for 2017. We're excited about the board of directors, our board of advisors, and the great staff that we have at the Greenville Chamber. And I really believe that with the commitment of the Chamber to really do what matters in this community, it's going to be an exciting year. Whether we're advocating for businesses in Columbia and D.C., growing entrepreneurs through our next program, developing our next generation of business leaders, or connecting them through our numerous networking events, at the Greenville Chamber, we want to make sure that we do something that matters every day.